Okay, so now here we have a very interesting uh, problem. We asked students from a cohort of 40, roughly 45 students, and we asked them whether they prefer uh, hard copy printouts or any other form of um, way to access uh, some course notes. And uh, we had 14 students at the time of count uh, reply and 10 of them said they wanted a paper printout. So our response was 10 out of 14 students. So this very clearly is sort of a, a proportion. And proportion and very clearly we are dealing with a sample here. Uh, this sample is hopefully representative of the entire population and we now want to figure out what is the uh, sort of the uh, vote, the verdict of the entire population i.e. Uh, the, the whole cohort. And we want to make this prediction from this sample. So since we are dealing with a proportion and we have fairly small numbers, uh, the uh, appropriate way uh, is to use the uh, uh, binomial distribution. So binomial distribution and because the numbers are small, we use an adjustment which is called the amended walled method. This is a pretty much empirical method, but it has proven time and time again uh, that it gives fairly accurate predictions. And the uh, method basically is based on uh, a modified proportion. So if we say this is our proportion here, p equals 10 over 14, we have um, a modified p where we have the number of successes. So number of success plus 2 divided by the number of total observations observations plus 4. So in this case we would get 10 plus 2 over 14 plus 4 and that gives us 12 over 18. So that is basically our new amended proportion. And we can obviously say this is also two-thirds. Now for the binomial proportion equation, uh, we can identify a confidence interval where we can say we are pretty confident that the proportion of the population, in this case the cohort, who are voting for uh, the paper copies for their handouts, is located in. So we identify a 90, usually we go for a 95% confidence interval, and I abbreviate that, 95% CI, and we say in this confidence interval we are pretty sure that the true population mean is located. True population uh, ratio, not mean, true population ratio is located somewhere in this 95% confidence interval. How do we calculate this confidence interval? Uh, we use the binomial uh, model for that, and that is uh, P, this amended uh, proportion, plus minus 1.96, and that reflects the 95% confidence interval, times the square root of our proportion times the probability or the proportion who did not vote for the paper uh, printout. So that's 
1 minus p prime divided by the number, by the amended number of observations. Number of observations. So if we put that in, we have 12 over 18, that's our amended proportion, plus minus 1.96 times the square root of our amended proportion, that is 12 over 18, times 1 minus 12 over 18, divided by 18. So let's see what we get for that. So we get 12 over 18 for our proportion plus minus. And now I quickly switch over to a calculator. So we have 12 over 18. We multiply that by what, who didn't vote for it times 1 minus this one divided by the number of our uh, amended number of our observation that was 18. And now we need to take the square root of that. So square root. We multiply that by 1.96 and that gives basically our uh, margin of error, so 0 0.22 or 0 0.218. Let's do that. So we have 0 0.218 and 12 over 18. That is, uh, what does that give us? That gives us 0 0.667 plus minus 0 0.218. So in this case, uh, if we do that, we get our confidence interval for our ratio of this sample. We go from 44.9% who voted for the paper, uh, hand out to 88.4%, 88.5%, I think it is, roughly. Uh, doesn't matter because uh, that's too much uh, information. Anyway, what this basically indicates is that we believe in our population, based on this sample here that we got here, in our population, somewhere between roughly 45% and 89%, people would actually vote for hard copies. So, in the population, of all the cohort of all the students in the cohort, we believe that the the true vote is somewhere between forty five to eighty nine percent prefer hard copies. Exactly, how many? indeed actually do want hard copies, we can't say. We can only say that from our sample we can make this conclusion that the ratio of people in the population on average are between 44.9 and 88.5%. So I hope this video makes sense and it gives you a little bit of an idea that even if we have something that looks pretty clear, like 10 over 14, in our sample, there is more to it when we look at the population. So thank you for watching and I hope it makes sense.